Hey guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Before we start, I want to thank you because I've reached a thousand subscribers as of today. So thank you all so much for your amazing support. I started this channel with no expectations. I just wanted to help the people out and share my knowledge. So thank you. I will work even harder to bring quality videos, better tutorials and better tips and tricks for everything Cubase related or audio related. So thank you all. And today I want to talk about uh, the new Cubase 8.5 update. So it's 8.5.10. It's a minor update just to bring a couple of quick fixes and some minor changes. So uh, let's start with uh, what I can see here uh, in the mix console. They changed a couple of things to the design. It's now a little bit cleaner. You have a gray background to the send insert feels and the sense seems to be easier to read cleaner so that's nice they also added a slope um, section here in the pre tab for the low cut and high cut so usually uh, it's by default set to 12 db so you can now change it really easily just by clicking on it and you can set it to 48 so it's more drastic if you want i would still really like them to put those uh, high cut and low cut in the EQ panel and to be able to enable or disable them from here and tweak them but it's still not um, available so hopefully they will change it in the future but still it's better than nothing and the same thing applies to the uh, channel settings uh, they changed a couple things and the slope is accessible from here so I will post a link to the full list of uh, fixed issues and changes here they also changed some hover control design um, nothing really changed on my side i don't know what they mean by that but a lot of people are complaining about this uh, when you're hovering something and using your mouse wheel instead of scrolling the window it will affect what's in focus so that's really annoying especially in the mix rack like this um, right now I'm using the mouse wheel where there's nothing so it's working but if you go somewhere like this it will try to change the settings instead of scrolling down like this so that's really annoying and a lot of people are complaining about this but they're not changing it and I think I know why it's because of this guy right here the AI knob it's a controller that's actually really nice uh, you can put it on your left hand and use your regular mouse with your right hand and when you hover something you can tweak the values with this controller here but it's acting as a mouse wheel basically that you control with your left hand so that's probably why they're not fixing this because a lot of people bought this device so they're still using it and it would break it so <laughs> that's not good so after all most of those fixes were not really affecting me so let me know in the comments section if you had those issues happening in your sessions and if you're happy about this update and as always if you like that video uh, please press the subscribe button and the like button i have a mailing list the link is in the description thank you again for your amazing support and see you in next video bye guys